Mm, hey, folks. <clears throat> the desert artist here. I am attempting to make a large dry washer. I am using aluminum ballasts that uh, somebody threw away from a dock. Uh, they are of uh, significant size, as you can see. There's another one with my... Now, what it was is along in here, that part that I had cut out, which is over here, had gotten banged up by a boat. So they threw it away. Well, I'm looking at a big aluminum box. I'm going, oh my God, rad, they make a great dry washer. Well, then the next week they threw another one away. Then, then week after that, another one. So, and the holes are there in this one. This one's going to be complex here to figure out to, what to do. I'm probably going to pound these out, uh, pound them flat. And I got some of this stuff here. And then I have rubber, vulcanizing rubber that I can put over the patches and put that over the top to patch it. And thereby, after I cut the hole out, after I cut out the hole to make another one of, let me show you this here. Sorry, I'm going around so quick here. I don't want to make you dizzy. Now this is, as you can see, the top of what I cut out of one, right? Now what I've done is I've cut out air holes in the bottom, slots for the air to go through in the bottom. I haven't got these nailed down yet. I got these ones screwed in, as you can see. Now, what I did, I'm going to tell you the process in which I did this here. Uh, <clears throat> I had to uh, cut one of this in half. Okay. You can see I cut this in half. I cut the top right off to use as the uh, sled for the oar to ride on. Now... <clears throat> I'm gonna be making another one because I still got room to make another one. Now the wonderful thing is, this is pretty thick gauge aluminum. You know, you can see compared to my thumb, you know, kind of a fat thumb. Um, so I, I, it was easy to cut with a skill saw, which I carbide tip blade. Okay, just mowed right through, just like butter. You can see, it makes a nice straight line for a ridge that the sled's gonna sit on with the with, uh, insulation riding around here. Now the insulation I have that I found was this roll of, of uh, door seal stuff. It's just plastic PVC, but it's enough to create the gap that I need to, for, the, for the air, you know, to provide for the gap between the sled and uh, the the, the the ballast box because I oh, ow oh, sorry about this here ouch I have screw here right so I got to account for that little bitty screw that holds on the uh, the thing to prevent the warping of the aluminum with the drilling and the screwing and all that. I put in mahogany along in here. <coughs> mahogany, so I can provide a nice tight gap in there too. Let's see. Um, all the way along. Now I screwed these down on the top here into the aluminum to provide for a nice solid ridge. So I know with some dry washers that have the removable top that you lift up and let the ore kind of slide out. That's just for easiness and it provides for <coughs> after a while that stuff underneath, you know that meshy stuff right here. That will eventually kind of bow after a while if you don't have these tied down here. Now it's nice I got these aluminum and they don't have to be L brackets that I would traditionally use to repair one. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do a repair on one, which I got over there. Now, I'm going to continue putting these uh, screws in here like this, all the way down. This doesn't matter because this is going to just provide for air blowing in 
through here. Through the ballast box. Now here's the, the box. Now what I need to do, I mean, there was this little square thing. Well, there was not really a square thing until I cut it, but there was these two little holes that provide for kind of some air blockage. Well, this is gonna be tilted at, a, I don't know, probably 15, 15 degree angle. Um, and, and to provide for the shaking, I have to have the air inlet holes down here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, because I'm gonna be running this with a swamp cooler squirrel cage, right? Or the pulley on it right there. And this is gonna be mounted on this trailer. That's the reason why I got all this junk sitting here. So this is gonna be a trailer mount dry washer that's going to be able to run probably a couple ton an hour. Um, so the fans are the next thing that I have to get a fan with a bolt in it to provide for oscillation and uh, some shaking while the ore kind of just flows down over the top of it. Now, uh, let's see. What I used here for on top of the screen, right? shade cloth okay i use shade cloth to provide for a cushion against the canvas okay i have this nice heavy canvas here that's a a a, a paint tarp cover that you can buy at any hardware store it's just thick cotton duck and what i like about it what I'm doing here is I'm able to place these screws in here. They're all screws, they're not rivets. They're, they can all be taken out and replaced. Therefore, I can replace that fiber if I need to at some point after a couple hundred thousand tons being run over it. So anyway, there you go, folks. The desert artist here attempting another invention. You guys have a great day. Be safe.